you have a shot if you're just starting in your career to think about five different careers over the span of 30 or 35 years that you might find yourself working. Always believe you were born to win. It's your right to win. Claim it, frame it, cause you were. Let's talk today about your career goals. What do you really want to do? Why are you pursuing a certain career? Now, there are different motivations why people think about certain careers. One is because they're just intellectually curious about that particular thing. Two, let's face it, sometimes it's about the money. And three, sometimes it's because someone has told you that you're good at that and you really don't have a reason for pursuing anything else. So you decide you're going to pursue that thing because people have been telling you your entire life that you'd make a great doctor or you'd make a great lawyer or you should have your own business. Let's think about what your career is going to be about in today's environment. Now, it used to be the case that the Holy Grail was finding one organization, one career track, and staying there and continuing to progress over, let's say, 30 years. But I would argue that today, especially millennials and Zers, they will have an opportunity to have not one career, but five different careers, not jobs, five different careers. And oh, by the way, those of us who are boomers or older Xers, we have an opportunity to not only have 1.0, not only 2.0, but we can now think about 3.0 and 4.0, especially if you've been living a lifestyle that continues to give you the opportunity to have the energy and the interest and the curiosity to be able to be successful in something new. So when you're thinking about your career, ask yourself, what would I like to learn? over the next five years? Or what am I really good at that I would like to evolve even further such that I feel like I'm an expert at that? Or what is really fun for me? Now you wanna say, do I need to make a certain amount of money in order to support myself? Maybe you have the luxury of being able to stay with your parents. Maybe you're going to be out there on your own. Maybe you have a family that you have to support. So I want to tell you that your financial considerations are also important. But in the early days when you are building your career, many times you have the flexibility because you don't yet have a family and you are on your own and you're just starting out with something new. You have the flexibility to try a few things. So I'm going to tell you to think about the career goals in this framework. What am I interested in? What am I really good in? What might be fun? What do I want to learn and what's going to give me the opportunity to see as much as possible over the shortest period of time so that I can add quickly to my experiential and my intellectual tool chest. I will tell you that when I came out of business school many, many years ago, one of the reasons that I chose the area of finance that I chose was because it had a reputation of being fast paced, really hard, very intense, because for me, by definition, that meant I was going to see a lot in a short period of time. Even though people said, oh, you won't have a life, you have to wear a beeper, you don't have a life of your own, I didn't quite buy that. And in fact, that wasn't quite true. But I said, I want to be in an intense place because I'm not really sure what I might want to do five years from now, what I might want to do 10 years from now, even though I'd already made the decision that I really loved finance. So I went into mergers and acquisitions and boy, was it fast paced. Boy, was it demanding. Boy, was it intense. But in a couple of years, I had learned a lot, not only about value in companies, but what you have to do in order to sell a company, why an organization might think about buying or selling a company, not to mention some of the, the things that went along with a contract for buying and selling an asset. Four years into it, I then moved to capital markets when it was fast paced, very intense, very dynamic. And again, in a short period of time, I learned a lot about when and how to bring an equity transaction to the market, how you market to institutional investors, how you think about retail investors. So you want to think about what's important to you and getting skills as early as possible and as fast as possible then opens up all of the other opportunities. Now you can start to think about other careers where you might be able to use those skills that are transferable across all kinds of industries. So this is the framework that I want you to think about when setting your career goals. 
and that will help you get started. And again, you have a shot if you're just starting in your career to think about five different careers over the span of 30 or 35 years that you might find yourself working. And if you've already been working for 20, 25, maybe even 30 years, I'm going to ask you, what's your 3.0? Go get them. You were born to win.